Item number SCP-3596 Object Class Cutter Special Containment Procedures After the conclusion of each Nakajima event, SCP-3596 is to be transported back to Site-26 in Beep, Japan, each Saturday from the hours of 8 to 10 Eastern Standard Time. All news, messages, satellite images, and phone calls sent from Japan are to be screened for mention of SCP-3596 and censored accordingly. Widespread amnestization is to be performed on all individuals in the vicinity of each Nakajima event. The Japanese military is to be prevented from engaging with SCP-3596-1 instances via similar communications blocking. SCP-3596-1 instances are to be lured away from populated areas via a coordinated effort between Foundation Personnel and SCP-3596-2 instances. Minimal weaponry is to be deployed against SCP-3596-1 instances used only for lowering purposes due to redundancy given the structure of a Nakajima event. Large amounts of building materials and cloak and cognito hazards are to be stored at Site-26 for the purposes of repairing damage caused by SCP-3596-1 instances and hiding the process of doing so. Cover stories involving tectonic activity or abandoned construction projects are to be released where necessary. At least 12 personnel meeting the requirements for SCP-3596-2 instances are to be present at Site-26 at all times to prevent civilians from becoming instances of SCP-3596-2. All on-site personnel are to receive full briefing on the effects of SCP-3596. Description SCP-3596 is a 4 meter long sarcophagus made out of brightly colored ABS plastics. The base of the object is colored yellow with red, blue, and green decorative pieces placed on the sides and top. Small electronics such as lights and speakers are frequently placed along the rim of the lid. And upon being opened, all such devices activate. In the center of SCP-3596's lid is a label reading Super Justice Containment Action Squadron and a 20cm by 8cm television screen. On every other Saturday at exactly 8.30am Eastern Standard Time, SCP-3596 will undergo a Nakajima event. A Nakajima event consists of the following sequence of events. All lights and speakers on SCP-3596 will activate simultaneously for 30 seconds. The television screen displays a message. Up next, Super Justice Containment Action Squadron. A cloud of non-toxic colored smoke will appear around SCP-3596, obstructing it from view. SCP-3596 and the current iterations of SCP-3596-2 Teleport to a semi-random location in Japan, always re-manifesting at an elevated position within a 7km radius from any major city. Recordings show that the objects reappear in a cloud of smoke. Similarly to when disappearing, SCP-3596-2 instances will reappear wearing brightly colored lycra bodysuit reinforced with Kevlar, often decorated with pans or other additions. SCP-3596's lid flips open, and a bolt of lightning will manifest regardless of current weather and strike the interior. Note, due to SCP-3596 not opening under any other circumstances, the contents of SCP-3596 are currently unknown, releasing a 50-meter plum of colored sparks and smoke. SCP-3596 shows no signs of damage from these events. Upon the smoke clearing, an instance of SCP-3596-1 will have manifested. The SCP-3596-1 instance will monologue for up to 40 seconds before either attacking or present scp 3596 2s instances or moving towards the nearest city and attempting to inflict damage to any structures found there. It is noted that no human casualties have occurred due to an instance of SCP-3596-1, usually with statistical anomalies occurring to prevent this. 
Within 20 minutes of the Nakajima offense beginning, the SCP-3596-1 instance will claim to have been defeated by the SCP-3596-2 instances, making threats of revenge, then demanifest in a cloud of smoke. This will occur regardless of any actions taken by SCP-3596-2 instances or outside forces. SCP-3596 will display a message on screen stating the date of the next Nakajima event, as well as a message, TUNE IN NEXT TIME! SCP-3596-1 is a collective designation of any anomalous entities manifesting during a Nakajima event. SCP-3596-1 instances vary greatly in appearance, but the majority of instances are bipedal humanoids, standing between 25 and 30 meters in height and the largest instance to date measuring 36 meters tall. Many SCP-3596-1 instances wear heavily ornamented armor or masks, and wield similarly decorated weapons. SCP-3596-1 instances may have additional limbs, such as wings or tails, and, in some cases, multiple sets of arms. Descriptions of several SCP-3596-1 instances are included below. Designation SCP 3596 1A Incidents on Record Incident N 3596 1 N 3596 14 N 3596 15 N 3596 32 Description A bipedal humanoid standing 31 meters tall with four arms and coarse red skin wears a metallic breastplate, helmet, and boots, as well as oversized shoulder pads. The helmet is equipped with a visor covering the eyes and mouth, and two curling horns on either side of the head. A red X is emblazoned on the breastplate. Designation SCP-3596-1C Incident on Record Incident N-3596-4 N-3596-5 N-3596-6 N-3596-7 N-3596-8 3596 Description: A bipedal humanoid standing 27 meters tall, with pale blue scales, and a fish-like appearance. Flesh has rubbery texture, has gills on the side of the neck, and large fins placed alongside the body. Fingers and toes are webbed. Wears a long green cape with decorative spikes around the collar. Carries an 18 meter long spear with the spearhead sculpted to resemble an anatomically incorrect fish skeleton. SCP-3596-2 is a collective designation given to a group of three to six semi-random pre-existing individuals affected during the Nakajima event. These individuals must be within a 0.8 kilometer radius of SCP-3596 during the activation of the event. If not enough individuals that meet the necessary conditions are present, the radius will increase until the conditions are met, with a delay of several seconds. Different SCP-3596-2 instances may have been selected for every Nagajima event to date. It has been observed that all SCP-3596-2 instances fall within at least one of the following categories. A physically fit male who was enrolled in any form of sports team between the ages of 12 to 18. A person wearing a cap backwards at the time of the Nakajima event. A female with hair done in a ponytail at the time of the Nakajima event. A person who wears glasses and achieves academic honors between the ages of 12 and 18. A male of African American descent. A person of Asian descent. A person who bears any level of resentment for any other SCP-3596-2 instances. A dog. A person who has trained in any form of martial arts between the ages of 12 and 18. A person wearing an outfit at least 60% compromised of a single primary or secondary color. A sample transcript of a Nakajima event is enclosed below. Incident Designation Incident N-3596-4 SCP-3596-1 Instances SCP-3596-1C SCP-3596-2 Instances D-00852 
Researcher Thompson. Researcher Cows. Ligan Log. Locket GMAR Flint Triggers. SCP 3596-1C manifests and SCP 3596-2 instances are selected and subsequently teleported. Personnel re manifest at a hilltop opposing SCP 3596-1C, five kilometers from the town of Beep in the Nakano Prefecture. D 00852 has manifested wearing an orange bodysuit, and researchers Thompson and Kells are wearing blue and green respectively. Ha 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 ha! The ocean now walks on land, and you, Super Justice Containment Action Squadron, will never stop me, for I am Gamonra, the champion of the sea. Oh god, I knew I shouldn't have worn the green sweater and socks. Why did it have to be me? Damn it, Kyle! Put it together! Better you than a civilian! My, uh, my jumpsuit changed shape! Oh, hey, uh, there's a fish over there! The two researchers turn to see SCP 3596-1C. Researcher Kells, dreams, and runs. Yes! Run and terror! Take this! He could by a coup to strike who! SCP 3596-1C leaped forward while extending one leg into a kick. Researcher Kelt curls into a ball, presumably out of fear, and a translucent green barrier manifests in the air around him and the other SCP-3596-2 instances. The kick collides with it and ricochets off, causing SCP-3596-1C to land on a grove of trees further down the hill, destroying them. Curses! The carving tortoise technique! No matter! For Gilmanwall is not easily bested. Let's see you block the sea dragon's breath. SCP-3596-1 C takes a deep breath before shooting a stream of high pressure water from its mouth. Researcher Thompson and D-00852 drag researcher carrots aside, and all three roll down the hill before the stream hits. Significant damage is dealt to the terrain where the water makes contact. It's causing too much collateral damage. We're only lucky that the event triggered in an uninhabited area. Get any ideas on... Kyle, get back here! Any ideas on how to stop it? We have support inbound, but there'll be a few minutes. It's a fish, right? So, uh, can we dry out? If the sun hasn't done anything by now, I doubt we could hold it off with what we have here. Researcher Thompson gestures upwards towards the sun while speaking. The sunlight immediately intensifies before a beam of light shoots down from the sky, hits Researcher Thompson's head, and reflects back before hitting SCP 3596 1C, who had just moved around the hill to approach the personnel. Roar! The sun runs soon, no cut snow! How did you figure out my weakness? You haven't seen the last of Gilmanra! The ocean will have its revenge! SCP 3596 1C runs to a nearby pond before jumping in and demanifesting, concluding the Nakajima event. Huh, is this uh, the part where we tell kids to stay in school? And log. Addendum. On June 16th, beep, incident. N3596-32 occurred. This was the 32nd and final Nakajima event on record, with no additional Nakajima event occurring to date. The classification pending. During incident 3596-32, all previously encountered instances of SCP-3596-1 manifested, and a total of 28 personnel were selected as SCP-3596-2 instances. In addition, the event lasted for twice the normal duration at approximately 58 minutes. Transcripts of event N3596-32 are level 3 classified. After the event's conclusion, no message appeared on SCP-3596's screen, and instead the lid unlocked and was able to be opened. Inside was found a total of six neatly folded bodysuits identical to those worn by SCP-3596-2 instances, including helmets, boots, and gloves. Each bodysuit was a different color, and all had the foundation logo embracing on the chest and helmet. In addition, a single photograph was included, depicting a group of Asian men smiling and laughing.
Each individual wore a costume corresponding to an instance of SCP-3596-1, with the masks and or helmets removed and usually held into the hands. On the back of the photograph, a short message was written, reading, Thank you for being in our show. Super Justice Containment Action Squadron Forever! The individuals in the photograph have yet to be successfully identified.